when somebody's been drunk and then they sober up, maybe they drank a lot of black coffee, how would you say that? Sober up. Well, yeah, that. That would work. Yeah, that would work. Could you say that word? Costini. Be costini. But I'd rather hear just costini. Okay, one more time. Costini. on the back. What's the word for sticking it on somewhere? Can I say um, lapachi? Lapachi? Mm. Well, for sticking it on? Yeah, you can say that too. Could you say it again? Lapale. How about lapachi? Lapachi. One more time? Lapachi. Okay. How would you say I stuck it on? <laughs> oh, fooey. I stuck it on. Yeah. <laughs> I stuck it right on there. I couldn't notice up. This is where Willie lives. I wouldn't say that. Wouldn't say something like uh, that. I I would say I hung it up there. Oh, you would say you hung it up, but I didn't. I stuck it on with tape. With tape? Yep. Yeah, you might do that. <laughs> Can I say something like either, some people would say la page li, and other people would say la page li. And my big question is which of those do you like better? Well, that's definitely different. Do you have a choice between la page li and la page li? Hmm. Chocto. Well, she can say this too, Willie. I challenge <laughs> Any problem about saying that word? Do you like either of those, Lapachi or Lapachi, Lapachi? Lapachi, Lapachi. That means ah. Oh. That's what I want to do. I put up this note. Yeah, Lapachi. Okay. And here's Matt. He goes around right behind me, you know, and he takes down my notice, and then he sticks it up someplace else. He puts it up in his front door. He thinks that's a better place for it, and then he sticks it on the back of Peter's head. He's just sticking it up and sticking it up everywhere. Can you say something like La Pa Hunchi or La Pa La Hinchi? La Pa La Hinchi. Okay. One more time. La Pa La Hinchi. Perfect. See, he's just going, sticking, sticking, he's sticking in the air now. Uh, yeah. Um, do you know a word for somebody dragging themselves around that's like um, the fitly? Dragging himself around. Well, that's what she says it means. Maybe it's her fault. I'll blame her. Do you know this word? Schlefitli? What? Schlefitli. Schlefitli. That's the word. <laughs> Can you say it again? Schlefitli. How about Schlefitli again? Schlefitli. That's dragon. Dragon. Yeah. Um, I have a word here for something that's all worn out or it's ragged. Flippa. 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 Yeah. <coughs> yep. Can you say that one again? Mm, Flippa. Perfect. What's the word for hoeing in the garden? Mm, uh, Alili. One more time? Alili. Okay. And um, I sent Matt out there over to your garden over there, and he's hoeing for you and Cindy. Um, I could say he's hoeing for y'all. I could say something like Hachin Lili. Yeah. One more time? Hachin Lili. Again, please? Hachin Lili. Perfect. How would I say running? He's running. <coughs> Malili. Malili. And if I wanted to say to Jenny, you're running, Ishmalili. Yeah, you could do that and then you could say Tuk Tuk too. Well, okay, but let's say Ishmalili. 
Money this. Really going. Okay, well, believe me, she does. You should see her. She's been running all over Medill. Um, can you say Ishmaelili? Uh, from what to? I don't know what she's running from. <laughs> <laughs> she's running from her husband there. You gotta watch him. Can you say Ishmaelili? Ishmaelili. Ishmaelili. Igmalelo. One more time. And then there's another word for running um, mullately. Malle. Malle, that's jump. Right, no, this isn't jump, and it's not the regular word for run. Mullately. Mm. Maybe we get Catherine to say it, and you'll recognize it when she says it. Could you say it, please, Catherine? Mullady. Yeah. One more time? Mullady. Okay. One more time. Mullady. Okay. And could you say you're doing that? Ishmullady. Mullady. No, I want you to be saying to Jenny, you're doing this mullady kind of running. Ishmullady. Can you say that? Say it to me. Ishmalili. Ishmalili. Right, but I want to say it with ish on the front. Say Ishmalili. Okay, one more time. Okay. And I think the last one was Ishmalili. Can you say Ishmalili? Ishmalili? That's what you mean, is Ishmalili. That would be doing what, though? Some people say it means kind of running. Some people say it means running real hard. I haven't figured it out because it means different things to different people. But really all we're interested in is the word. If you could say one more time, Ishmalili. But I want it right. I know you do. I don't know what it means to you. I can tell you what it means to some other people, but they disagree, so I'm not sure I believe any of them. <laughs> some people say Ishmaelitli would mean you're kind of running halfway, and then somebody else told us... Trotting. Okay, trotting. Yeah. Would you say you're trotting, please? Ishmaelitli. Yeah, that's it. Ishmaelitli. Okay. One more time? Ishmaelitli. Malihili. How about Malihili? No, no, no. Malihili. Okay. Do you know a word, Malihili? Malihili means like some human was still running. Still running. Okay, yeah. that's the one I want. So you wouldn't say that about the car. No. Could you say that word again? Some human is still running. Malihili. No, that's the car. <laughs> Malini got him. Okay, can you just say Malini? Malini. Perfect. And if you say to her, she's some some human or other, you're still running. Ish Malini. Ish Malini got him. Can you just say it without the Katima on the end? Ish Malini. Ish Malini. How about Ish Malini? Ish Malini. One more time. Ish Malini. Okay. Oh, man. I know. We come here and we really give you a workout. <laughs> Say the dog is jumping. Okay. One more time. Okay. And how would you say he jumps and barks? Mali Oh, wait a minute. Barking is wochi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Mullet's a woozy. Mullet's a woozy.